Hey guys, welcome back to BeerGeekNation.com. I'm your host, Chris, and today we are looking at a beer that normally I would have probably just written off if it wasn't a stone product from the Stochasticity Project. This is the Master of Disguise Imperial Golden Stout coming in at 9.7% alcohol by volume, brewed with cocoa and coffee beans. It's basically a blonde stout, a white stout, whatever you call it about, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a couple years ago, um, Greg and I think it was Martin from BrewDog, I forget which one it was, they kind of released an April Fool's video saying they were going to collaborate and brew a golden stout uh, three, two or three years later. Here we go, kind of breaking the barriers down. So can they pull it off? I am super excited to try this one. I think it's just a very, very interesting concept and kind of goes along with that black IPA and you know blonde barley wine, that kind of flavor. So let me get into glasses, so you guys know what smells, tastes, and give me the final verdict on the Stochasticity Master of Disguise. All right guys, so the aroma on the Master of Disguise. <laughs> It smells exactly like a coffee imperial stout. Coffee, chocolate, subtle kind of sweet dark chocolate in there. A little bit of a roasty note, but it's definitely from the coffee. Obviously, they're not using any roasted malts in this one. Definitely kind of a sweet, caramelly, toffee uh, sweetness to it. But a lot of coffee, a lot of chocolate. All right, guys, so the taste on the imperial golden stout known as the master of disguise. Cheers. That is awesome. Wow. Wow. Right there on the top. That's crazy. Uh, huge, huge slap of just coffee. Coffee, 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 like cold brewed, really high end coffee right there front. Middle of the mouth, more coffee, a slight vanilla, a slight kind of uh, chocolatey. It's kind of a milk chocolate sweetness in there. Again, I think the big thing with this beer is they removed a lot of the roasted oat, the roasted malts, a lot of those higher kind of love bond malts to get it to that blonde color. But they replaced those flavors with the coffee and the chocolate. So blindly going into this, it tastes exactly like an imperial stout. Subtle sweetness in the back, more coffee in the back, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate in the back there. 9.7%, it actually goes down pretty easy. You know, Stone pretty much has their brewing process down, so I don't, I'm not surprised by that at all. But it, I'm telling you blindly, you would have no clue this beer looked how it does. It tastes exactly like an Imperial Coffee Stout. Crazy stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Stochasticity Project Master of Disguise Imperial Golden Stout, 9.7%, available now, guys. This one is getting an A. I, I didn't know what to think. I'm like, is it a gimmick? Is it not? Is it something they're actually committed to? And they went full on in this one, and it tastes fantastic. Again, if this was in like a you know concealed cup and all you could drink from was a straw, you would say it's an Imperial Coffee Stout. And then when you look at the beer, it's just... It's pretty mind blowing, actually. I mean, it brings up a whole another conversation. It's a conversation beer. You know, what defines a stout? They're kind of breaking down those barriers of what defines a stout, what defines, you know, different styles of beer. Is color a component that actually makes up, you know, to, to define a style of beer? Now that we're kind of like breaking these barriers down from different variations of different styles. This is the next one, and this is fantastic, fantastic. It's a great tasting beer. I want to call it an Imperial Stout just because it has all those characteristics. I'm not a big roasty stout guy. This doesn't have those, but it has the chocolate and the coffee and the body that I really like and a lot of uh, sweeter stouts. So it's awesome stuff. I highly, highly recommend you guys try this out. Um, and, and for your friends who don't like stouts because they're dark beer, give them this one. Say, hey. Try this one. It'd be awesome stuff. So with that said, getting an A from me. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.